high definition. From the station on your side, this is Wavy News Online. Thanks for logging on. Topping this webcast, history made in Virginia. A 5.8 earthquake rocked the state, much of the East Coast, and Hampton Roads. We've been on your side since the ground shook at 1.51 this afternoon. We've checked and found no major damage. VDOT says that they check major bridges and tunnels and say that there are no structural problems. Then on your side, Stephanie Harris spoke with people in Norfolk who felt the earth move. Yeah, I was just washing my hands in the bathroom and all of a sudden I saw the mirror shaking um, and I saw the string moving and I was like, I was like, wow, that's weird. That's never happened before. Renee Beck walked onto the Health Food Center's main floor to find her boss clinging to a counter, complaining of dizziness. Next door, Mike Robinson felt the same way. At first I thought I was having a head rush. I thought I was going to pass out. But he quickly realized what was happening. The register started moving and... <laughs> I looked at the walls and there were pictures that were kind of rocking and I thought, we just had an earthquake. He stayed put. Others couldn't get out fast enough. It was a stronger shake of anything that I've ever felt. And so much so that I don't feel comfortable staying in this area right now. We saw these folks lined up outside the Jones Institute at Eastern Virginia Medical School as we headed downtown. What building do you work in? Dominion Tower. Security evacuated the 26-story high-rise where Robert Carter was working on the 10th floor. Oh. It was a very weird feeling. It made me dizzy, kind of, and I was like leaving a voicemail, and I'm sure they could tell by the uh, tone of my voice that I was like, I'm out of here. He said hundreds got out quickly and calmly. They stood outside about half an hour, all the while thinking to themselves. I was like, we don't have earthquakes in Virginia Beach. <laughs> it's like somebody needs to tell someone we don't have earthquakes in Virginia Beach. <laughs> Ted on your side, Stephanie Harris. Virginia Governor Bob McDonald talked about this emergency earlier in the afternoon. We've consulted with Virginia Natural Gas. We have had one report of a gas leak uh, around the Richmond area. That's not confirmed yet, uh, but uh, there's no report of any significant infrastructure damage to the natural gas uh, facilities or pipelines here in the state. We're also following another big story today, Hurricane Irene. That's right. Yeah, we've seen a lot of changes with, with the storm uh, in terms of the track, a little bit more of a shift toward the east. So that could mean potentially that this thing may stay offshore, but we still have a lot of possibilities from now until this weekend. So we're going to continue to fine tune things as we go along. I want to show you the latest information, winds of 90 miles per hour, and the latest track shows it strengthening back to a category three by the end of the week. And by the weekend, we expect this to potentially uh, make a landfall around North Carolina if it is going to do so, but you can see that cone of projection could still take it offshore and maybe even a little bit further inland. So we still I got a ways to go before we uh, know exactly what's going to happen with this storm and then potentially um, making its way just offshore of Hampton Roads as a category one storm. So we're going to be watching uh, that storm very closely. In the meantime, we've got some gorgeous weather. Uh, underway right now and that's going to continue into Wednesday mid 80s 90 degrees on Thursday so we start to see those temperatures jumping back up but we'll look for some rain chances starting Friday and depending on uh, Hurricane Irene the exact track could see some heavy rain and breezy conditions on Saturday and maybe even early Sunday. And thank you for watching Wavy News Online. Join us for the latest news tonight on Wavy News 10 at 11. Now high definition from the station on your side this is Wavy News Online.